Hello everyone, welcome to From the Star Wars Home Video Library. I'm your host, Nathan P. Butler. This episode is the last in our little mini-series here of looking at different action figure releases that were released to specifically commemorate a particular Star Wars home video release. They did not include home video items themselves, no discs like mini DVDs or DVDs like some of the lightsabers, for instance, that we saw. And these weren't free giveaways like we saw, for instance, with the Darth Vader figure or uh, a ghost of... What, uh, Obi-Wan, I guess it was, figure over in the UK at different points. These were all things you would just have to buy separately, but were designed to celebrate a home video release and help with its marketing and promotion. We've seen 21 of these so far. We saw three multi-figure packs released in 2004 for the original trilogy, three more for Revenge of the Sith in 2005, along with two each for Clone Wars Volume 1 and two for the Clone Wars Micro Series. Then in 2006, we saw three more of the packs released, one per film, to commemorate the reissue, again, of the original trilogy with those so-called unaltered editions with them. In 2008, we saw two released to commemorate the Clone Wars film release. And then in 2011, we saw six packs of four figures each released to commemorate the launch of the Complete Saga on Blu-ray. And that is where we stay for this episode. The Complete Saga on Blu-ray was pretty important. It's the first time these films were on Blu-ray, but also the Complete Saga, at least, not the trilogy sets, had three bonus discs. And among them we get a chance to see some deleted scenes, which is really cool. It's one of the really nice parts of the Blu-ray bonus features, okay? So if you're looking for cool stuff for bonus features, the Complete Saga set here from 2011 or its reissue in 2015 or 2017 at Walmart are pretty cool to still have, even with the more recent releases as well. Well, in 2012, the year after that release, Hasbro put out a specific line of five action figures specifically designed as a tie-in to that release, granted a year after the fact, because they were highlighting characters drawn directly from the deleted scenes listed on the Blu-ray release. Okay? And oddly enough, they were all deleted scenes from Return of the Jedi, not spread throughout the saga or anything. So, that is going to be where we stop here. We do not have action figure packs in this case, it's just one figure at a time, and there are five bringing the total of Star Wars home video tie-in items that we've looked at to 26. That's a lot. And again, these don't have home video items in them. They don't include DVDs or anything. They're just tie-ins. They're commemorating a home video release, which makes these tangential to many Star Wars home video collectors' collections. Should you get them? Should you not? Should you consider them part of your home video collection or not? Your mileage will vary. It is completely up to the opinion, of course, of the collector themselves. I decided to pick them up. I do consider them tangential. I wanted to show them here on the show. I want to show them in the book. So for me, these are part of my home video collection, but oddball items for sure, and that they don't even have a disc in them at all. So we'll look at these five. These are individual releases here. So first we have Colonel Kraken, right? Aaron Kraken, Rebel Intelligence here. Ages 4 and up, assortment number, warning for the choking hazard, Star Wars Return of the Jedi, actual name here, Colonel Kraken, Millennium Falcon crew. We see him right here. Not trying to flip anybody off, it's just the easiest to point with that finger. Okay. What denotes this as part of this release, deleted scene figure, Blu-ray. Blu-ray discs not included. That little symbol there. Over here, a promotion. You could win life-size Darth Maul statue signed by George Lucas and more. Details inside. No purchase necessary. Go to darkmall.giveaway.com for rules, odds, and information. Promotion ends 8-31-2012. Then, Kenner there. Okay, of course, Hasbro, Kenner. Okay. On the back, Star Wars in classic style. VC Vintage Collection 90. Celebrate the legendary Star Wars saga that changed the universe forever. It says... This collection brings to life the incredible story of good versus evil that captured our imagination and took us to a galaxy far, far away. Iconic Star Wars heroes and villains are captured with incredible detail and premium features to commemorate each epic tale in the Star Wars saga. May the Force be with you. And it lists the different figures, starting with the top ones, which are the deleted scenes ones. Other ones from this era do not have deleted scenes uh, connections, but are listed on here as well. Star Wars The Vintage Collection has the V-19 Torrent, the ATAP. Obi-Wan's Jedi Starfighter here, legalese and whatnot. Visit StarWars.Hasbro.com, StarWars.com, Hasbro, proof of purchase right there. So Colonel Kraken appears in a deleted scene aboard the Falcon. He gets his own figure 
for that, specifically tied into the Blu-ray deleted scenes. Second, we have Link. Okay, similar packaging. In this case, the name here is Luke Skywalker Lightsaber Construction. And a similar back. Okay, this is Vintage Collection number 87. Cool. Then we have kind of another oddball Light Kraken. We have the Rebel Pilot, which is a Mon Calamari, or Mon Cala, I guess we'd say now, from that deleted scene. All right? Again, with that symbol down to tell us this is the Blu-ray deleted scene figure. Shot of him there. And similar back. Fourth, Lando Calrissian. All right? This is the Lando Calrissian Sandstorm outfit from that well-known deleted scene. Well-known even before we actually got a chance to see it. Similar setup. Similar back. And finally, also with a Sandstorm outfit, we have Princess Leia. Still, this is Princess Leia, not Leia Organa, for some reason. We have Leia there. Interesting thing here is that it's basically Leia in the slave attire with other stuff on top of it, because I guess that is the way that it works within the film. Okay, came with a symbol and similar back. Okay. So this last set is five, smaller. Heck, any of those ones from 2011 had four figures just in one pack. Here, it's a lot more muted. They're regular figures on regular cards. It's five of them sold individually, but specifically denoted as deleted scenes Blu-ray figures, which makes them something perhaps of interest to a Star Wars home video collector to put alongside those larger, more elaborate action figure packs from 2004 all the way up through 2011. This ends our look at these. I'd be curious how many of you have picked these up for your Star Wars home video collection rather than an action figure collection. Uh, as I said before, I'm not really an action figure guy myself. I tend to pick up the ones specific to home video releases or the ones that just happen to catch my fancy for something to decorate a shelf, like a Thrawn figure, an Aphra figure, or the uh, Yuzhan Vong and Kyle Katarn pack from my own Star Wars Tales story that I wrote back in 2004 that got its comic pack. Aside from those, I don't tend to keep much around in the way of action figures. And these will probably be stored in the closet to protect them from my son as he gets a little bit older now that he's not even two yet. Um, just thought it'd be kind of neat to show all of these. 26 items, all tie-ins to home video releases, none of which are home video releases themselves, but which make them a weird gray area for Star Wars home video collectors like me, like the folks on the Star Wars home video Facebook page and elsewhere. With that, we will wrap up this episode. Thank you for watching and may the force be with the home video viewers and possibly for the last time for a while, those action figure collectors.